Here is everything you need to replace your thermostat as well as your inner seal, Red Arrow. You can easily replace the thermostat housing without removing it completely from the engine, but if you are replacing the inner seal, you will need to remove the housing. We will show you how to do both. Begin by draining the coolant. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task if needed. Remove the air box and using a set of hose clamp pliers, remove the clamp, blue arrow, and the hose from the top of the thermostat housing. You can leave the hen coupling in place, red arrow. If you need assistance with removing the air box, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. The red arrow indicates the thermostat housing. We have removed the rear of the car for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove anything else but what is stated in this video. Use an E10 torque and remove the upper bolt holding the top of the housing to the engine, red arrow. Still using the E10, remove the three screws holding the thermostat housing in place, red arrows. If you are only replacing the thermostat, you can turn the housing 45 degrees. Remove the thermostat gasket, red arrow. Clean the mounting surfaces, blue arrow. Replace the thermostat gasket and housing gasket and lubricate them. Install the new thermostat and reinstall everything. Torque the fasteners to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds and then fill and bleed the system. If you're replacing the inner seal, please continue to follow along. Remove the housing from the vehicle and take it to your bench. Remove the thermostat. Remove both the thermostat and housing gaskets, red arrows. The inner seal is pressed into the housing, red arrow. You will need a slide hammer with a hook end. Place the housing in a vise. Make sure to squeeze the vise only on the tabs, blue arrows, provided on the housing. Set the hook end under the lip of the seal, red arrow, and working your way around, pull the seal out. If possible, place the new seal in the freezer overnight, and then you can press it into the housing. You can also tap the new seal into place if you do not have a press. Installation is the reverse of removal. Don't forget to lubricate the gaskets and torque all hardware to 13 newton meters or 9.5 foot-pounds. You must now fill and bleed your system. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.